So we think what we're offering uh, to event lovers of Auckland, to rugby league followers, um, and to those that follow the game uh, on television is something special. And uh, I can't wait to get cracking and get stuck into it. Thank you. Thank you for those words, Martin, and thank you for the challenge that you issued to Sean Johnson and Jonathan <coughs> Thurston. Who is going to be the king come February the 4th and 5th of the Down NRL Auckland Nines next year, 2017? I can't wait. Well, we're very lucky today because we've got a whole table of international stars as well as NRL celebrities. Very privileged to talk to them. We've got Isaac Luke, Sean Johnson, and of course Roger Tui Vasa Sheik. But there's the one guy that I do haven't even spoken about yet, and that is JT. JT, welcome. And because you're a very humble guy, I'll go through your credentials so far in your career. Probably can't even get there. Captain of the North Queensland Cowboys, 36 Origin Games, Australian International, four-time Daily M winner, three times Golden Boot winner, two times NRL Premierships, a Rugby League World Cup, and named by many commentators as the greatest player of all time. But JT, you haven't won an NRL Nines title, <laughs> have you? No, I haven't, Monty. You haven't. Uh, this is my chance next year to uh, do it, so I'm pretty excited. Well, you're excited. I'm excited every year. I'm excited every year because I can't wait to watch the likes of Sean Johnson play, Isaac Luke play, Roger Tui Vastashek play, and Jonathan Thurston's playing this year. I can't wait. Can't wait. But it's always build-ups, man. That never happens. So you're going to play in 2017? I am, I am. See, the coaching staff don't let me, so I've had to have some uh, stern words to, to the coach to let me play next year, and I knew you were going to ask me this question and come at me, so I brought some video proof just to prove to you that I'll be playing. Here we go. Every year he's, he's always put pressure on me. I think um, being that attacking style suits his game, um, and I think he'd really um, flourish in He's, he's put on pressure on us the last couple of years to play. Uh, uh, it's been on his bucket list, uh, and so we're uh, we're happy to accommodate him on this occasion. Winning the inaugural tournament, I think that the Nines tournament holds a, a pretty special place in the club's uh, history. You know, he's achieved a, a lot in the game. Uh, he's achieved more than most players have uh, in the game, but the one thing that he hasn't done uh, is played in this tournament. And, uh, he's very keen to play. Uh, and, and so we've decided to, to let him do it. But with guys like Jonathan playing uh, in 2017, then that weekend's going to be pretty special, I would think. Now, JT, before I get too excited, can you look me in the eyes and say that he'll be playing in 2017 down at NRL Auckland Nines? I'll see you there, Monty. There you go. <laughs> no champion. <laughs> JT, how long have you been nagging uh, Paul Green to let you come and play at the Nines? A good couple of years. Um, like I mentioned earlier, uh, he's always shot it down uh, when I've mentioned it with him. But um, you know, this time around, uh, they're going to let me play, so I'll have a few weeks of training under my belt. So I'll be confident um, my body will be right to, to handle it. And um, I'm looking forward to it. It's an exciting brand of football. Obviously, it's only nine people on the on the field, so. Uh, people think that you know there's a lot of space out there, but you need to generate ruck speed to expose uh, the spaces, whether it's on the edge or through the middle. So um, it's an exciting brand of football, and it's an exciting brand of footy, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So it should be fun. And if anyone can expose the ruck speed, it's that man right there. He's a wonderful player. Now, if you think of the first inaugural Nines tournament, you were back in Townsville, you were watching from afar as the Cowboys went on to win it. How were you feeling then? Yeah, I was extremely proud of the boys and uh, Gavin Cooper reminds me all the time that he's got the first silverware for the club as, as a captain, so it was the inaugural Nines. So, um, yeah, I was very proud of the boys. Obviously, uh, the first uh, Nines weren't expected to, uh, it was sort of up in the air, but uh, the feedback that you know, when the boys got home, uh, they loved it. They really enjoyed it. And it doesn't matter what club you're talking to and what players you're talking to, they always talk about the nines and how exciting it is and how they want to be a part of it. So um, a little bit jealous that I uh, haven't been a part of it, but you know, I'll be a part of it next year, so it should be fun.
the excitement's always a word that comes up when you're speaking about the NRI Nines. What excites you the most about the down the NRI Nines next year, knowing that you're playing now? Yeah, oh, definitely the atmosphere. Um, you know, everyone gets dressed up in characters, wears Wally and all this type of stuff. So uh, that's what I experienced but sitting on the sidelines watching the boys. Uh, earlier this year was, was the atmosphere and um, it was too good to refuse this time and, and, and be a part of it. So finally got the coaches and staff uh, blessing to play and it um, should be fun. Now a long list of achievements, I mean it will keep going on, there's nothing you haven't done in the game of rugby league except uh, win a Nines tournament here for the Down NRL Open Nines. How much of that has been the, the factor and reason why you want to play? Uh, oh, there's contributing factors obviously, um, you know we've had a after winning the Premiership, uh, the World Club Challenge, obviously the Indigenous All-Stars, the All-Stars match as well, so it's a heavy schedule, the pre-season schedule, so um, it's about you know, picking and choosing what I wanted to, to play and what was you know, my main goals uh, for, for that year, um, those years, and um, you know, this one next year is to be a part of the Nines and, and playing in it, and um, like I said, you know, I've got the coaching staff and the club's uh, blessing to be a part of it now, so um, it's a heavy schedule, the pre-season schedule, but um, you know, I enjoy it. I've only got a year or two years left, so you know, I want to be a part of, of rugby league before I uh, hang up the boots. Well, you mentioned rugby league. Of course, today is about the nines and, and going forward for next year, but I have to ask briefly, how are you feeling about the, the clash next week against the Kiwis? They're yeah, obviously two uh, strong squads that the, the coaching staff have, have picked, so um, yeah, we'll be looking forward to the week and um, you know, it's, it's good fun over there uh, playing in those types of conditions. It's obviously a lot different to playing here or, or, or back in Australia, so you know, you need to accommodate for that. But you know, playing over in Perth, um, the first test there to be a part of it is something special. Um, you know, like I said, two teams, uh, great squads, so um, it'll be a great game, a hell of a spectacle. Well, JT, I look forward to watching you play in next year's Down the NRL Open Nines Jam. Thanks, Monty. From JT to SJ, Sean Johnson. <laughs> Sean, it was a great uh, 2016 uh, Nines tournament this year for yourself and the team. Um, <coughs> how did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was, um, you know, like everyone sort of touched on the atmosphere again. Um, There's something that I just love being a part of, you know, and the fact that. Um, I guess we lasted throughout the tournament and played in that last game and kept the crowds here. Um, they were just as vocal at that time of day then as they were in the first game that we played. So it was just a, yeah, another awesome weekend and I'm stoked to be a part of it for next year. Um, obviously the Warriors have got some great fans. You mentioned the atmosphere. Every time you're out there, it, it's amazing. What does it do to you as a player? Oh, yeah, it gives you chills. You know, when you, like Jim said, when you're running out to warm up and they go off, you know, it's pretty special. So. Um, Leading the boys out of this tunnel here, um, the atmosphere, yeah, generally just gives me chills, so um, that's something I can't wait to experience again. What are your individual goals for the 2017 tournament besides proving that you're the king next to the guys sitting beside you? Um, yeah, look, obviously, I think you want to you want to make sure you're fit and you're right to go. You know, it's, um, it, it is a tough tournament and um, there's a lot of hard work to be done before that, so I want to get through the tournament you know, nice and healthy, but at the same time, you want to play playing an exciting brand of footy that's going to you know, get the get the crowd and get the fans on their feet. Um, you know, and ultimately, we want to win it. You know, we came close this year, but yeah, there's no secret. I think you know, Isaac and Roger both agree that you know, we want to go one better and win it and I guess hold that trophy up in front of our home fans. Well, if you're going to win it, you have to beat the best and the yeah. best is sitting next to you. How excited are you about him being on the field and maybe opposing you? <coughs> yeah, look, it's awesome for the game, I think. Um, yeah. You've listed everything this guy here has achieved in the game and to have him um, show face at a tournament like this in New Zealand, it's just going to, um, I guess, increase you know the way we're showing, I guess, rugby league in a good light. And um, the kids, the fans, rugby league in general, they're going to be buzzing to see this guy out there. So um, hopefully, you know, we can contain him um, and we'll do our best to do that. But it's definitely a massive win for you know, the down the NRL would be nice to get him here. It sure is, and it's all about the Nines, but I'll ask you about the Kiwis and how the new coach, David Kidwell, <coughs> will go. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, look, it's um, it's really exciting for him. You know, he's he's a man with a lot of passion and brings a lot of energy uh, to the environment, so um, I'm sure he will, you know, create a good environment for us to, 
I guess, play our best footy in and um, enjoy the week ahead. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Here you go, Sean Johnson, vying for the King title against uh, JT. He's going to miss him next year's down here in our world and Lions. Now over to you, Bully, Isaac Luke. Um, look, you're part of the winning team, you're captain of the winning team here, uh, the Rabbitohs um, in Auckland, but how would it feel to do that again? Um, maybe not captain, though, because he's changed next year, in front of uh, your family and friends and in front of some very loyal fans who want to see the Warriors win a title. I'll probably have to get the green card from Mooks first. Um, <laughs> see how, how heavy I come back after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, look, it's, it'll be awesome. I was, um, I was here, uh, part of it, and watching the boys um, the last uh, the two days. Um, and it was awesome to watch, and obviously everyone gets behind the boys. Um, they, uh, this one was probably the best game that they've played, and we should have seen the crowd there. Um, I ended up walking around with the boys after the, after the game, and just to see the fans and how excited they were that, um, that we, we got to the grand final. But, um, yeah, look, it's going to be awesome. Um, hopefully I'm part of it. Um, the boys will watch it for sure. And um, they'll obviously be part of the day with me and JT as well. Um, hopefully you can have a word with Greg Inglis and uh, make a bigger call out. Jeez, now you're getting excited. Uh, look, you're the winning captain 2015 um, with, with the Rabbitohs. What do you think is the winning formula out there next year in 2017? Um, probably what JT... Um, just on, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's going to be a lot of like, temptation in space, um, but you don't really like, try too far away with 30 men, how you play with 30 men. Um, obviously you have to get the ball down and chase it and defend it, and the more you um, win position, the, probably, the more you win the game, because that's what um, Adam Wynn was doing for us, um, was he was able to turn them around and you know, we were just able to defend it. Some great insight there. I mean, 2016 this year was the first time we saw Sean Johnson and RTS play together and, and form some some absolutely great combinations, some magic. Uh, you're looking to get in on the act there and, and make it a, a very good threesome. <laughs> um, I was looking forward to it to that, to that weekend, but um, no, more importantly, to be part of the Warriors family. Um, yeah, no, it was awesome to be part of it. Yeah, we'll go to the Kiwis family now, of course, uh, the test match coming up. Uh, you've kept yourself in shape by the looks of it. How are you feeling? I'm uh, feeling really good. Uh, I've got a bit of a kick up the normal from Wilkins and Anzac weekend, but um, I'm looking forward to it. Here you go, Isaac Blue. <laughs> Roger Tuivasa Sheik, you've played here twice in, in two different jerseys for the Roosters and the Warriors. Uh, what excites you most about this tournament? No, yeah, definitely the, the atmosphere was one of the biggest ones in travelling up. Uh, when I was in the Sydney Roosters, was just coming back home and playing in front of uh, sort of family and friends because I, I grew up in Auckland, so that was the biggest one for me. Now for you, obviously, you had some amazing times for the Warriors early on, but you spent most of the, the year on the sideline. Uh, so how's the injury and how are you looking for the, for the following year? Yeah, feeling good. I'm um, on track for my, my rehab. I'm, I'm back on the grass now, so much more happier now. It's really up to training. I'm running a lot, and um, yeah, I think Open Nines is sort of um, the first sort of game that's that's coming up on my calendar. So I'm really excited for that, and hopefully I can make that, that team and, and coach the next one. Well, Martin mentioned some uh, great stats before. You know, he had 44 Kiwis, 48 Aussies, 45 State of Origin players, <laughs> and over 70 Pacific Nation players play out here in the NRI Nines. Um, who have you admired watching over the last couple of years, and who would you like to see in this shortened format of rugby league? Well, um, I get pretty excited with the, the young players that come through. Um, I was talking to, to JT not long ago about um, um, Caitlin Fong from yeah. the young guys. So that's those, those are the kids who excited me. Um, they're bringing the young the young guys through and watching them play and seeing like new talent. That's that's what's most exciting. Well, SJ is the pin-up boy um, for obviously the down in our Auckland Nines, but JT is on the block now. Um, how do you think uh, JD is going to go against uh, yeah. Shorty? Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Big fan of them both, but I think um, SJ will come up on top. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to use, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, when you want to get down to it and you want to ask the real questions, you call on some superior knowledge. So please, I'd like to welcome to the stage uh, Hawaii and also 
Uncle Ben, your friend, what can you do? Aaron, sorry Aaron, come up, come up boys. <laughs> chance to ask those profound questions that you were practicing beforehand. <clears throat> Sean, what's your favorite YouTube video? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> in mind, we've got some young ears right here. Yeah. Sean? <laughs> oh, man. Um, YouTube. My favorite YouTube video would be um, probably just watching Steph Curry highlights. Yeah, I like to watch... Um, Anything to do with basketball, really, but it seems to be the main at the moment. Um, Isaac, uh, do you brush your teeth before you go to bed? Jennifer and Tristan, have you ever gone taller on the field? <laughs> Have you ever gone toilet on the field? I'm really <laughs> uh, No, I haven't. Oh, it's just the uh, bathrooms that are in the stadium or uh, wherever I can. <laughs> so I need to do that, kids. Uh, so, Roger, Roger uh, have you ever watched a YouTube video of you making an epic fail? Like <laughs> stepping and then falling? Oh, oh, no, I haven't seen that one, but I'll look up. I'll look up. <laughs> <laughs> Have we got some nice questions for these absolute <laughs> legends that are up here on the stage? For each other? We'll finish with a pos uh, positive note. One from each of you, please. Have you ever cried on that field and you got injured? Because we have. Oh, yeah, man. I have injured. I injured. Yes, that's right. Uh, what do you think we need to know to be a professional league player? Uh, you need to keep enjoying what you're doing. You love playing rugby league, have a passion for it, and anything's possible. A round of applause for these two. Man, like <laughs> these boys are only 10 years of age, they're not.